Do you have a business of any size? Do you need help with your taxes and accounting? Please call my friends at Peters CPA LLC. You are about to watch Freedom TV with Teresa Lusk. Stay tuned in because we have a powerful show for you. Friends, I am so glad you are watching Freedom TV with Teresa Lusk. Today I have a sweet guest, Dr. Wanda Fooster. Thank you so much for being here, Dr. Wanda. Thank you for inviting me to be with you. Oh, it's a pleasure. You it's know, Dr. Pleasure. Wanda is an amazing woman. She's an amazing woman of God, but she's just an amazing woman. And that's exactly why she is on our program today. I asked Dr. Wanda to come out because you are a mighty accomplished woman. <laughs> Thank you. A lot of people would look at your life, Dr. Wanda, and they would think, you know, it's just that you've been working hard and you've done, and you have. Oh, yeah. You, you're a well-accomplished woman. You're a professor correct. of economics. economics. Is that right? Correct. Okay. You are working on your pilot's license. Correct. You and your husband, correct? Correct. And w you were uh, on on a television network. Which one was it? It was Univision and Telemundo. Univision and Telemundo. And Correct. you were on their program. How amazing. These are amazing accomplishments. But what most people don't understand, or a lot, excuse me, a lot of people don't understand, is that while you worked hard, what was really important was your investment in people. Oh, definitely. Tell I learned that, that uh, since I was really young and I was investing my time in people, helping them in their needs, mm. helping them in their needs, in financial needs, but also in their normal needs. Yes. I was working. I, I remember something very interesting. I was working at my 19 year old when I was really young uh, with um, a special Olympics uh, athletes. And uh -huh. I was going to be with uh, Cuban and with many other uh, Central uh, America or or the Caribbean athletes on that special Olympics just supplying their needs wow. and being with them uh, supplying my time to help them to move all around the place mm -hmm. on the special Olympics I remember that well wow. and since then I did not stop to help because I was feeling that the first thing to do is to invest my time to help others in need and amen. distress amen Friends, you know, that is a very important concept here. And I know many of you are watching and you feel like, maybe maybe you feel like, well, nobody's really invested in me. And, you know, I can tell you for sure that um, you can pray for that and God will begin to bring people into your life. Definitely. Always. Always. But, but sometimes it just requires for us to invest in others. It's a, it's a beautiful lesson. I'm so glad you brought this up. As before we even started recording, we were talking about that. Correct. That, that a kingdom principle, the difference between God's principles and the principles of the world is what, Dr. Wanda? What would you say? Well, I, I was uh, thinking that we have to invest the resources of time and love and whatever yes. other resources, also financial resources, in other people because this is a mandate from the Lord. A mandate. Amen. It's a mandate. And then the Lord will provide your own needs. So don't be afraid about your own needs. The, the mm. Lord will take care of you. Wow. You know, it is this a little is scary. This is powerful because this is a kingdom. What do we say? These are kingdom principles. And a lot of times people do not understand that. They say, look out for yourself because if you don't, nobody else will. Correct. However, that's not the truth with God. And there's the difference. You know, when we're trying to grow as Christians, if you're a young believer, uh, you haven't been walking with the Lord for a long time, or maybe you gave your life to Christ, but your life hasn't been changing, and you're at a point where you say, I'm ready to start doing things differently. Oh, definitely. And this we can arrange it. things. There you go. So if you are right now across any kind of difficult time, uh, could be uh, financial difficulties, mm -hmm. could be health difficulties, or other constraints in life, don't be afraid. Just pray mm. and ask to the Lord for fulfill all of your needs. Yes. And He will be to fulfill Amen. whatever you need. Amen. You know, you said something real, it's good because cause you do the, the both things at the same time. You don't wait for the Lord to fulfill your needs. You start praying and saying, Lord, thank you for fulfilling my needs right now. Correct. Thank you for giving me what I need. And then you start taking those steps of faith. Correct. You know, Dr. Wanda, for years mm -hmm. I have, 
God just gave me the ability to learn this lesson early on. And for years, uh, I've been doing what I can to build others up, promote others. You know, one Correct. of the things that people will say to me is, is, I love how you promote others. Absolutely. Because what you do for others, God will bring forth for you. Oh, definitely. And it's not that I'm saying, well, I'm going to do this so I can get something back. No. But God is a giver. Anything. God is a giver. God Correct. is a giver. For everything you need. So no matter what you need, the Lord provide you because he knows your heart and he knows what you need. That's right. So we have to believe. Yes. And that is so true. Yes. And so you're a professor, you're, you, you're doing your pilot's license, you've been on television. Um, what is the secret about lighting up passion for, for the things that God already deposited in us? Because God is amazing. He deposits something in you. Oh, yeah. And as you do life, it begins to manifest, unfold. What, is this, what, what do people do for that? I, I like in the way in which you put the words, and it, it's, I discover something, definitely. I discovered the God's love inside mm. of me. Mm -hmm. And when I, when I was feeling that first, uh, on, on the first sight, I was feeling, well, I have to love people. And I was really happy to, to be with people, engaging with people, mm -hmm. and just to feel that I love everybody. And that was really <laughs> like, so for some people, maybe this is uh, naive, mm -hmm. but for me, it was really something right. nice. So I was always feeling love. And then passion comes with love. Mm. So Ooh, when you have good. love and passion, you can be focusing in your own goals. Wow. And the Lord will open the doors mm -hmm. for you yeah. to just grow mm -hmm. and to be walking across yes. that place. Mm -hmm. And you will be the light. Oh, my goodness. You are hitting some things. <laughs> I love this because, you know, for, for the past month or so, I'm stirring in my heart with things about ministry. Uh, how to love people, how do you grow in anything that you're doing. And you know what, Dr. Wanda? It is focusing on other people, loving them. Loving and them. And that's one of the hard things to do sometimes because we want to talk about us. I even talk, when I minister to people or help them grow, I'm mentoring them. I even go as far as talking about when you're having a conversation with somebody, is the conversation all about you? Or are you learning to think about who are these people? What has God placed in them? Correct. Who are they? Correct. What are they interested in? What does their family look like? You know, Correct. instead of, oh, let me talk about me. I've entered into those conversations mm -hmm. with people and I usually can tell pretty quickly who I'm going to have a, a connection with or not. Not because I need them to be about me, but because I can tell when they've learned to make things, when they've learned to love, to people, love people by investing your ear. Correct into your their time. lives and your time. Absolutely. Correct. So if, if you invest time in some, somebody else, do that and don't be afraid. Just put some time on that people and just hear them and learn with them because yes. people can show you other ways to do other things. That's the, right. The Lord just connect people. Yes. You know, Dr. Wanda, when you and I met, mm -hmm. uh, we, we, um, you were very sweet and gracious and you were, you were, kind of inquiring about me and you left me curious about you and so we decided <laughs> we need to have a, a coffee time here and so we did and I remember our meeting and you were very much encouraging me oh yeah you were you were let me know what you need Teresa even after that you were messaging me saying let me know what you need and you're sending me things I bless you for that and oh, I thank, thank you, you for that oh, because you. we need more people like you. Men and women who are watching, we need you to learn to invest in others. It's a kingdom principle that carries a seed of multiplication, of satisfaction, and of helping people achieve their dreams. Amen? Right, amen. And you know what? This is a legacy. If the, that legacy comes to me, I have to pass through her. Amen. And she will be taking that to pass to somebody else. Yes. Because this is our lost lo Lord legacy, yes. which is powerful. Amen. Amen. Doctora, you've been such a blessing. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for sharing your Thank story. You. Friends, don't forget to visit our Facebook page, Freedom TV with Teresa Lusk. 
go to our website, TeresaLusk.com, or send in your testimonies and your prayer requests. We want to get them. You can email Teresa at Teresa Lusk, but we're going to pray a blessing over you right now. Father, we just pray for every man, woman, and young person that's watching. We thank you for the purposes, the dreams, the, the desires and passions that you've put in their heart. Father, we pray that you give them a heart that expands with love, that says, let me see how I can help other people grow, feel the love of Christ, feel passionate and reach their goals and dreams. Lord, I pray that you give them the eyes of Jesus and the heart of Jesus to be able to see and hear and understand based on what you want for them. And God, we thank you so much that you love our friends who are watching. We pray for a growth, a maturity and wisdom over them. And we pray this in the sweet and mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so much for watching friends and hang in there because there is more. Do you desire to deepen your walk with the Lord and change your prayer life? Well, Prayers That Change Us can help you do just that. Get your copy at CreateSpace or Amazon.com. Well, friends, I am so glad you're tuning in to The Word with Teresa Lusk. I want to share with you an empowering message. You know, if you begin to practice the things that I'm going to share today, you will begin to see your life change for the better. I didn't say your life was going to get perfect. I said you will see things get better. You know, Dr. Wanda spoke about having a love for people and investing in people. And I am 100% convinced that that is the key to favor with so many people, opportunities and things that are on your heart. You know, we cannot move forward without drawing somebody uh, into their place or their call or their purpose or their position. I believe 100% in investing in people. Some of you are in a, a season in life where you feel like you're not growing much, where you feel like you're not advancing, where doors aren't necessarily opening up to you. And I want to challenge you, but I will pray for you, of course, but I want to challenge you to begin to invest in people. Now, what does that mean? This is a kingdom of God principle. You know, everything, when you look at the word, when Jesus healed, when he cast out devils, when he, uh, when he invested in people, he did it out of compassion. He did it out of love. And that's exactly what I want to encourage you, my friends, to begin to do. Now, if you haven't been practicing uh, contributing to somebody else's life because life's been hard, because nobody's taught you that that's the way, because for whatever reason, doing it at first may feel unnatural. As a matter of fact, you may have to train your mind to begin to love on people, to begin to be, to be compassionate towards people. The one way that you can begin to see your life change God's way is to invest in people. So write it down, my friend. Remember it. Just lock it in in your heart. And how do we do that? Well, I'm going to teach you how to do that because I want to see your life change today. You know, you can begin to practice this starting now, starting today where you're at. You know, the first thing you can do to begin to invest in people is to simply love on them with your words. When you begin to love people and say, how are you doing? You know, how is life treating you? How can I pray for you? Can I give you something? You know, you when you, it's investing. And most of us are not used to that because we've been so trained by the world that everything is, what do you have for me? What you got that I can take? What do you have that I need? You know, we're very self-centered, but the kingdom of God, the principles of heaven are completely different than anything that we see in our world. And it's different. You know, I didn't know that until I began to go to church. And I began to see people be so loving. They were always, you know, coming up to my husband and I and shaking our hands. And how are you doing? How can we pray for you? You know, investing, investing in us. And that broke my selfishness. So I have to ask you, friend, are you ready to do life differently? Are you ready to see things change? Because if you are, you'll have to make a decision. And that decision will be that you'll no longer be full of yourself. And I'm just being real with you. 
y'all because you know I'm not going to do it any other way. If you knew me personally, you would know. I'm just going to tell you what it is. Here's the answer. Use it. Unlock it. It's really the key I'm giving you. Unlock it and run with it because I want to see your life change. You know, Freedom TV with Teresa Lusk, um, this, this program here on this network, it's to help you learn to live life the way God intended for us. And sometimes I've got to go to the real basic things. I've got to go to the things that seem real simple, but yet most of the world is not practicing. Sometimes even believers, Christians aren't practicing it. But I'm telling you, begin to invest in people in word. So how are you doing? How can I help you? What's going on in your life? Now, I'm not saying being intrusive. I'm just saying being considerate and caring about that person. How often are you calling people? How often are you texting them saying, I'm thinking about you? How can I pray for you? What's how are you doing? You know, I know it sounds simple, and I'm tired. I'm sorry that I'm beating this, but I want you to know that I am very familiar with many leaders who don't even do that for their people. They don't do that for people in their organization, in their churches, uh, in their businesses, you know, and so people want to know that you care. So you want to see your life change? Begin to sow into them, asking them how they're doing. Secondly, are you sowing into their life with resources? And yes, I'm talking about money. Yes, I'm talking about a cup of coffee. I'm talking about lunch. I'm talking about a, a, a sweet, just a sweet blessing. You know, I had a neighbor who lived across the street from me and I was early in my walk and very, very self-centered, but, but, you know, early in my walk with the Lord and she was always giving. She was so kind. She'd come over, she'd bring stuff. She gave me bags of stuff. You know, she kept sewing into my life. I don't even know that she realized what she was doing, but here's what happened when she continuously did that for me. It broke me. It broke that selfishness. And I finally said to her friend, you are so giving. And when I matured in the Lord, I realized giving is a characteristic of God. He loved the world so much. He gave his son. He created the earth. You know, he's a giver. He's a provider. And so when we begin to live that out, we begin to look like Christ. I can tell you that if you begin to sow into people's lives with resources, with blessings, with gifts, you're going to see not only blessing overflowing your life, but you're going to begin to see favor with people. You may or may not see it with those same people you're sowing into, but you're definitely going to see it multiplying your own life. I'm asking you, friend, do you want to see your life change? Begin to use these principles. They're kingdom principles. You know, you don't even have to be a Christian to see these principles at work because they're God's kingdom principles and it works. If you put it to work, it works. And so I want to encourage you to do that. The third thing I want to encourage you to do is to help bring out the best in someone. You know, there are gifts. I tell, I tell people around me when I'm mentoring them, when I'm helping them, if we are good leaders, if we are good people in general, if we're mature, if we understand what God wants from us, we will draw out the gifts in people. We'll draw out their potential. We'll draw out everything that God has deposited into them. We'll begin to draw it out. You know, I may not think you're the best singer. I may not think you're the best speaker. I may not think you're the best prayer warrior or whatever you want to say, but I know that every person that God created has purpose. They have giftings. They have something big on the inside. And so my job is to draw it out of them. So what are we doing to draw it out of them? You know, how can we draw it out of them? You encourage them when, when you hear them. This is why it's important to listen because the investing of, of listening to them and finding out about their lives, that's where you find out how much do I do with this person? That's when I find out these people love um, to do this, that, and the other. And then I begin to say, how can I help you get there? How can I help you grow in that? Maybe I have a book. Maybe I buy you a gift card to go buy the book that you need. Maybe I connect you with a resource. Maybe I connect you with an opportunity to, to do, to speak, to, to whatever it is that I'm trying to help draw out. Maybe I just provide that for them. See, it's, it's a whole, um, a whole opportunity that we can provide for people to grow in, but we've got to get over ourselves. You know, I was teaching this 
uh, a while back and I actually had somebody resist the teaching and they said you know I, I'm all done out I can't do that there you know there's just no way you know I get that there's seasons in life when we're so spent that we feel like we can't give another thing but you know what it's not about that it's not a, I've given this much so I'm done it's we continue to do it because we know and we trust that God is faithful and he said in his word when you sow you will reap so if you want to give up and say I'm tired of people they take advantage we're not doing it for the people necessarily yes we're investing in them but we do things first for the Lord and when we do that with that attitude it's really hard to get tired of giving Ephesians 6 7 through 8 says Serve wholeheartedly if you were serving the Lord, not people, as if you're serving the Lord, not people, because you know that the Lord will reward each one for whatever good they do. In other words, whatever we do, do it wholeheartedly and do it for the Lord. He will give you back. So you sow a seed, you'll get back a multiplication of it. I'm going to pray for you so that you can get ready to begin to sow into people's lives and watch your life change. Father, I thank you for this person who's watching. I pray blessing. I pray a stirring and I pray for a determination to be servants of God and people who sow. In Jesus' precious and mighty name we pray. Amen. We are so glad you're watching Freedom TV with Teresa Lusk. As a matter of fact, we want to connect with you. We want to hear your testimonies. We want to receive your prayer requests. So connect with us. Go to TeresaLusk.com or you can find us on Facebook under Freedom TV with Teresa Lusk or Teresa Lusk Ministries. We look forward to staying in touch. God bless. Well, friends, you are watching the Keeping It Real segment with Teresa Lusk. I have some great questions to answer for you, so get your ears to listening. The first question is, does God still speak in dreams? Well, actually, my friend, God does speak in dreams. You know, I love that God wants to speak to us. He wants to speak to us so much that he has provided a variety of ways for us to know what he's saying. Dreams is one of the several forms that God speaks today. You know, Joel 2.28 says that, that, he, that God will pour out His Spirit on all of us, sons and daughters, that we shall prophesy, that we shall dream dreams and have visions. And you know, that was um, going on even before that scripture was written. And so just so you know, God does absolutely still speak in dreams. He speaks audibly. He speaks in our spirit. He speaks in His Word. He speaks through people. And He definitely speaks through dreams and even visions. And so... I encourage you that if you're dreaming, that you begin to write your dreams down. And even if you don't understand them right now, you can always pray that God brings somebody into your life that understands dreams and they'll begin to help you activate how to interpret those dreams. You know, when I was dreaming several years ago, I knew uh, that God was speaking to me because I kept dreaming the same thing over and over again. And so I finally be began to pray and said, Lord, would you please send me someone? I know you're speaking to me. So please send me someone who knows how to interpret dreams. And when they came into my life and began to show me, because God did answer that prayer, when these people began to show me what it was that God was saying, I then began to activate the understanding through the Spirit of the Lord that God was speaking and I began to understand how to interpret these dreams and then I began to speak with my husband about them and he began to be uh, very very helpful in that same area as well so yes God speaks in dreams write them down there are things that God is saying especially if there's a common thread if there's something that you keep dreaming that is you maybe the same house or maybe the same uh, time or maybe the same people you know there's there's something about about that and God is speaking so get your spirit on alert you know there's dreams that, that God has given me that have been prophetic where I write them down about something that's going to come to pass and it has come to pass and so I keep those things written down you know I don't pay much mind to when people say that's crazy or what are you thinking God already said everything he had to say in his word you know he still speaks he continuously uh, and experientially causes you to hear him. And so I encourage you to definitely be on alert, hear what he's saying, write things down, pray that he sends you someone until you learn to hear his voice and interpret what he might be saying. Thank you so much for that question. The second question is, uh, 
I am a woman and I have desires in my heart to serve the Lord. Can I do that? Well, friend, absolutely. You know, God gave both men and women a call. And sometimes, you know, people will separate and say, here women can do, no, they can't. Here's the deal. My, my heart is filled with the call of God and my life is too. And so I have surrendered that to God. Um, I look at the word, I look at the examples of great women who were called to minister and to do God's work. And um, there's Phoebe, uh, the deaconess, there's uh, uh, Priscilla who taught the word, um, you know, there's Deborah uh, who was a judge. And so there's so many different examples in the word of God that you can stand on and say, I know God has called me. So friend, if you feel called, start praying that God prepares your heart, your mind, everything, your character, and then he puts you in the right place at the right time because God wants you to be a, a blessing to other people, which is why he's called us. And uh, remember that we all have a call to go out, to preach, to lay hands on the sick, to cast out devils and to br just bring good news to people, set them free. That's the call of the men and women of God. And so I hope that that answers your questions. Well, friends, I am so glad that you have tuned in to the questions. I would love to get your questions and your testimony. So don't forget to go to our website, TeresaLusk.com. Uh, send us your testimonies, uh, your questions. Uh, your, um, your, your kind and, and encouraging words. You can email Teresa at Teresa Lusk. Don't forget to visit our Facebook page, Freedom TV with Teresa Lusk. God bless you and we'll see you again soon. Have you been blessed by watching Freedom TV with Teresa Lusk? Would you like to be a blessing to others? Then go to our website, TeresaLusk.com. Click on the Donate Here button where you can give your tax-deductible donation of any amount. We thank you in advance for making it possible for us to spread a life-giving, long-lasting, life-changing message. May God richly bless you for giving to our ministry. Are you an organization or business of any size? Do you believe in integrity, loyalty, and professionalism? Then we are looking for you. Freedom TV with Teresa Lusk is looking to partner with organizations that would like to have their business mentioned on our program. Contact us, TeresaLusk.com or email Teresa at TeresaLusk.com. Thank you so much, and we look forward to connecting.